Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the keyless entry module in a 2008 Saturn Sky. This should also work for the Pontiac Solstice cars as well. Uh, the dealerships also call them the RCDL lock module, uh, remote control door lock module, uh, or the tire pressure maintenance system module. So if you're having troubles with your tire pressure maintenance system, this should also help as well. I couldn't find any videos out there on how to replace this module, so I decided I'm going to make one myself. So, let's jump into this. Alright, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to be following, uh, following the Kappa service manual uh, for removing the module. Uh, first thing you're going to end up doing is removing the, sill, the door sill plate, uh, which is held in by four clips. Next, you're going to be removing the body lock pillar trim, which is also held in by clips. You're going to do this on both the driver side and the passenger side of the vehicle. And after those, you will be able to remove the rear window panel trim, uh, which the module is hidden behind. All you should need during this procedure is a Phillips uh, screwdriver and a uh, panel remover. Uh, this makes it a lot easier. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. All right. So there's one kind of dirty got to do this on both sides of the vehicle I'm just gonna show you one side and you can just repeat the step on the other Now there is a clip that connects to the rear speaker, it's just a simple pull tab. So be careful not to yank this out whenever you pull it, the rear tab. All right, so now I have access to the receiver. As you can see it's right here 
behind the garnish. All these take to be released is just a simple push here, simple push there. And as you can see, there is a, another tab on the back right side here. Just gonna push down and pull. And that is the old receiver that they told me didn't work. Now, I'm going to grab my new receiver. As you can see, it doesn't have the, doesn't have the deal here, though. See, pretty much the same product. I mean, I ordered it straight from GM. So, so only difference is it doesn't have the bouncers here. I guess that just keeps it stable while you're driving. So, I would attempt to take it out, but I don't want to risk breaking it. I'll probably end it, since this one's bad, I'll probably just end up unscrewing it and see if I can't plug it into this one here. For those of you who would like to see the guts of the keyless entry system, this is what it looks like. The motherboard chip. As you can see, it's pretty dirty and pretty dusty. I don't see any rusted parts, though, so I don't see why it wouldn't be functioning. But then again, I'm not really an engineer. So, I can't take that little dongle piece off. It seems to be soldered in there. So, I guess I'll just stick it in there as it is. Oh, well, one thing I could, I could just replace the motherboard itself. But you know what, I think I'll just do that. I could just replace the motherboard itself. So as you can see, it's not soldered in there at all. And I would like to keep the stabilizers. So I'll probably just end up doing that. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I got the other one out. I'm going to show you all the differences of the inside of the components as you can see this one's very very dirty it needs to be cleaned horribly and here's the new one I'm gonna be at sticking this one in here because this one has the buffers to it but as you can see look how much cleaner this one is when compared to that one so, hopefully this one works. After I get this installed, I'm going to take it down to the dealership so that they can get that keyless entry plugged in. Because this was the main reason they couldn't. Alright. So this one's in there. Looking good. You know what? I'm going to actually replace this door with this new one since it is a different component so I'm gonna do that real quick all right so I got the door uh, to the module on and it's screwed in I'm gonna show you how to install it it's pretty much a reverse of what we did earlier so let's see here so, I guess it should just be a clip in. Where's that? So clip them there. Sit down. These two little holes. There should be something inside there that it clips to. I'm gonna have to look and see what it clips into because that's not clipping in very well. Oh, I see it. Never mind. There's a little tab here at the bottom that it's got to slide into. And then, clips right in. So that is the installation of that. 
that's dead and done and let's get the rest of these clips on and that's how you replace that all right so the trim's been uh replaced module is now in and now i just gotta get my sky programmed hopefully my tire pressure maintenance system will now work and i'll be able to get my key fob programmed for a keyless entry hope you all enjoyed the video and i hope it helps out at least a little bit on how to somewhat change this module so that you're not ending up paying 300 dollars for a little module from the dealership because that's what they were going to charge me they were going to charge me three hundred dollars and i ordered this on the gm site for a gmpartstore.com for fifty dollars and you know installed it for free now i just got to get it programmed so hope you all enjoyed the video if y'all have any comments let me know and i'll do my best to answer them so thanks y'all